when I accepted this assignment, I sent an email out to people, yeah. uh, seeing if there are any questions they wanted me to put to you. Okay. I didn't get a response, so I prepared my own. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, no, no problem. Okay. Right, my first question. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I floss? Give me a tenner. I'm here today with esteemed Newport street photographer Nat Simpson. Nat, what's the word on the street? The word on the street is it's 20th of October 2022 and around 15 days time there's an exhibition happening. It might just be something to do with me. Okay, that, that's more of a sentence. Can you give me a single word? All oh, right, what's the word on the street? The word on the street is real. Okay, so Nath, have you uh, ever staged a photograph? I have staged a photograph um, and specifically I, I would like to mention a very very close friend of mine who sadly passed away in September 2019. Her name is Amanda Thomas from Beechwood in Newport and uh, we worked together extensively uh, from the time I did Tough Cookie Clothing right up until 2008 for a good 10 years we worked together and did a lot of stage fashion photographs. So Amanda, this is my big up to you. Rest in peace. <laughs> Your publications, are they street photography, fashion photography or emerge? They emerge. The they emerge. They emerge of things that will interest readers who um, are not catered for by the general media. Okay. Mm. Right. So, so when was the first publication? First publication was uh, March <laughs> March 2006. I've witnessed you out in the field quite a number of times, and uh, you're very smooth. I was just wondering when you're out there in the hunt for prey, do you have a particular approach? Um, uh, you like the look of somebody, do you have a, a spiel or do you just... No, adjust? I actually did, well that's actually contrary to what I do. I don't look for anything. My whole, my whole journey within journalism is serendipitous. I don't look for anything. It's always spontaneity. I'm, I go out to get on with a day and if I see something or something, I feel something in my soul that needs to be documented, then it's then if with that person's consent it's documented. Yeah. Can you hear me Nath? Yes. What's the longest you've ever loitered outside a charity shop waiting in hope that someone will buy that polyester pullover you're desperate to photograph? Uh, never. Never. Seriously? Never. Have you ever used Photoshop? Never. Never once. Have you ever used Photoshop? Never once. And that is, that is the unique selling point of my work. I don't touch up any of the photographs I take of any human being. And so was it always an ambition of yours from your first photograph that you would make a publication? Very 2006 there was a um, protest in the now defunct Welsh old office of the Welsh Assembly. Uh, a woman uh, and some protesters were campaigning to get a, a cancer drug called Perceptin um, made freely available in Wales. It was available in England and it wasn't available in Wales. And I thought I would go, I saw it on ITV News, I thought that's a really interesting story. I want to go and take some pictures of that. I ended up camping out for two nights at that Welsh Assembly with the protesters taking pictures. I offered the pictures to I'm not going to mention the name to our local newspaper, and they weren't interested. The South thought, Wales Argus. I'm not mentioning any names. They the were South not, Wales Argus. They were not interested, and I thought, sod this, I'm going to go and publish those pictures myself, hmm. and that's what the first magazine stemmed from. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I was speaking to him a couple of days before. So we were off with the money. That was my son's birthday present, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Change of location? Uh, I see that you've got a beautiful print there of the Royal Grant Hospital. Yep, yeah. sure is. 
Yeah, I was born in the Gwent. Were you born there? I was born in the Gwent, yes. Okay, and I, I know from your work that Newport's very important to you. Yes, it is. Yeah, tell me about that. Um, well, basically, I, um, I've had a lot of uh, amazing experiences in Newport, especially uh, from childhood right through until the end of my teens. Um, it shaped the way I, I uh, conduct myself. Uh, I'm very malleable. I can go anywhere in the world and get on with people. And I, I would say that is definitely uh, part and parcel of growing up here. You get that you get that essence within your personality. You can get on with anyone. You're welcome in. That's Newport. That sums Newport up. And growing up in Newport from day one, that's what I get from it. So I, I thank Newport for that. Hmm. Tell me about South Wales Today, South an exhibition on the 4th of November. South Wales Today is exactly what it says on the tin. It's South Wales as it looks today, the people of South Wales, how they look today in real life, everyday situations. I think that's a wrap, is it? Or is there another question? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nah, you're so cool. You can end on that, can't we? Yeah. That's the end. We can end on that, can't we? Yeah. Okay, we're done.